Fort Tate with only four defeats. Margarita, the taller, bigger man, but does not always fight tall. He's a fighter, and sometimes he gets right down to that and he gives up his height. He comes around, he's come up, and one ball. Man. Margarita, the taller, bigger man. You know he's the taller man, he's given up his height. That's a fight that Antonio went forward with, actually, on a pond with a looping left hand that scored. And it's because of distance that Luhan scored that punch. Mom leave himself available, and then find the opening. If you can't be in the middle, you can't be in no man's land. Right now, you have such a better sense of what Luhan brings to the table. Luhan trouble for Oscar at 147 pounds. Tonight, a ton on the line against the aggressive, free-swinging Sebastian Luhan. And there, as advertises those punches and bushel loads from Luhan. All it took was Margarita to stop moving on his wheels, on his bicycle. Throw leather identity tonight he mixing it up in between both because an aggressive guy like in the first half he's ready to fill the hole don't just Margarito must make Luan on his way in but Margarito must not be in that place no man's land but he's right at the end of Rito's but there was one spot right here where left talk aware of his vein aware of those ball punches that are thrown very freely by Luan Hello, Trunch. You see the punches in round number two. Through 85, landed 17-2. Very strong, effective. Much easier to pick out the flaws rather than the strengths. What flaws do you see with Antonio Margarita? Well, right now, I see that Mar Margarita is making a mistake by standing straight up in the air. I think that if I was Margarita, I would use my jab, I would stay low, and look for the other country hooks and slide around after that. He shouldn't be standing right now until he's out. This is a, 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 a little strong bull right now. He should be throwing other country hooks and sliding around. He's in, and he's in the good jab. Trading here against the ropes. And a nice long jab. He should not have to hear from you later on. Okay. So Zed makes a good point. The welterweight champ of the world makes a good point. From Brooklyn, I might add. Makes a good point about Margarito standing straight up. But to me, it's where he stands straight up. If he's out there, where he's not available. He's old, only a pro for three years. From Rosario, Argentina, this is call man to make it easier for him to come close where he can find them. Christian Wuhan, number 10, but the attention-grabbing punches that come from the right hand and left hand of Sebastian Wuhan. A good solid left in the second. Teddy, you like the boxing third round after the strong start in the first round from Wuhan. Two to one on your score. What I would like to see with Margarito, and I'm sure Zach would feel the same. Pay for the misses. One thing to make a miss, and here's a way to make a pay. The pay. And it could be a very effective punch for Margarito. And guess what? He realized range targeting and effectiveness. All of a sudden, he has gotten into his groove. Right here, you're going to see just what we were talking about. Margarito drawing that line in the canvas, using the jab to set up the right hand, and then the uppercut as Lua. And how is it? Yeah, my hands, you know, coming on pretty good. You know, it's uh, in the stage of healing. I'm um, going through our therapy. I uh, think the longest fighting. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm running. You know, I'm trying to stay as much safe as I can. Uh, so when I can't, you know, when I do something. <laughs> exactly. Fight, he's getting into punching range. And come, come on top of the head. But it becomes a disadvantage when you allow the shorter man to get into his punching range and then you're just standing straight. That being tall is a disadvantage because there's a lot to hit. Yeah, I mean, you know, he, he is tall, you know, I'm, I'm as tall as him, and, uh, you know, he just has to use his jab. That's the main key, use his jab and uh, come back with, you know, with the right hand. Joe Ted Wuhan here tonight in Atlantic City. Sure. And there's the up. Good body shot from Antonio Margarito. Now trying to target that right hand upstairs. Well, that's the smart experience of Margarito right there going to the body, as you just said. And again, Joe, because Luan doing a pretty good job, even though it's a little raw. He's moving his head pretty darn good. Teddy Atlas' scorecard for the WBO Welt from Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. There's a welterweight contender with us rings on Antonio Margarito. A much-anticipated showdown with Cintron and Margarito scheduled for April. Good action here to close. Better fighters in his division. And you see that he's got four losses. you got to remember, three of his four losses were between the age of 15 to 18 years of age. At age 15, that's how you learn the game the tough way. 
Most recently, he has been on a nonstop tear. Of course, back on September 11, 2004, he had a technical decision on so and I'm three surprised. losses early on, and then the technical decision, Daniel Santos. And you know what? I'm surprised that there hasn't been a clash of heads or in there with their heads. Especially straight right hand, you're catching. Good left hand from Margarito. He keeps coming forward with punches and bunches, digging now to the body. April against either Antonio Margarito or possibly again. Margarito giving the landscape that Bob done better than Luan. Scheduled for five more rounds, Margarito and Luan. For Luan, one thing he came here, he came to Margarito. What has he done to impress you now in Korea? He needs to jab a little bit more now, but he's still standing a little bit too hot for me, you know? I mean, he's one more. Uh, you know, he's traveling all the first time in the U.S., stepping way up in class. He's now the 10th minute. Aprócska pontokkal menetel előre, Margarito. Megint ő talál, főleg fejen találja el Luhánt, és érdemes megfigyelni, hogy egyre pirosabb Luhán bal füle. Ennek lesz még jelentősége a mérkőzésen. És ez a rossz védekezés miatt van. Meg is kell állítani az összecsapást, aki nem bírja a borzasztó jeleneteket, most ne figyeljen. A bíró hívja az orvost. Bedobják a törülközőt, föladják Luhán segédei a meccset, ezért szinte ketté szakadt az argentin füle. Szörnyű. Hátborzongató kép.